Because that's the main gripe with a lot of us artists is that we do major numbers with streams and this shit, but it don't add up to the money. Like, what the is the money? Come here. Do you support your favorite artist? Hey, yo, ease. Streaming or record sales is a metric to see how successful you are in the music business to a certain degree. But there are other ways to help an artist thrive out here. I'm going to share about two today and then we'll probably do something down the road. So first off, let's start with streaming, right? Where we are at this present moment. We never really know what the numbers are because they can be manipulated, right? We don't know how they move from day to day. This information is about maybe a year old. I believe it's from Producers Hive. Look at the royalty rates per stream, less than a penny. So if we look at title, we go straight across. You have to listen to someone's song. 78 times approximately before they receive one dollar and that's just the artist getting this dollar right so we know the corporations are making huge sums of money so what if i told you there are some alternative routes we could take as fans as supporters to ensure that your favorite artist thrives and no it's not your responsibility to make sure that they make money but when you like something, you grew up on something, when you enjoy it, you want to make sure that it sticks around. To ensure that it sticks around, um, you have to support it. So here are some examples, right? Live shows, concerts. You know the price you've done a live show. You've been to live shows before. But why is that significant? A live show, artists can generate revenue in many different ways, right? You got the tours, festivals, arenas, an array of different environments, right? When that artist gets on the stage, if they deliver a very good performance or even memorable, you can increase your fan base by making sure those who your day ones are satisfied. But you also have video where you could possibly record said performance and put it on your YouTube channel or chop up the clips and put it on your other social media accounts and generate revenue, which is a much better rate than this. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. And also with the live performances, the edited videos could be licensed out or even your recordings. Let's use Nas as an example, right? I know a lot of people were going crazy that Illmatic and some of the songs on there were, uh, featured on the hit show Ozark by you watching that that helps the artist much greater than some streaming numbers because I just showed you the chart bridging the gap of Street's Disciple a lot of people don't like the album but that song was licensed out to uh, Creed I believe the movie Creed the spinoff of Rocky so there are many different ways as a fan to support an artist if that's your end goal because with the bots and streaming farms and your favorite artists may not ever be able to compete with those who are signed to major labels. So next time you think about your favorite artists and ways to support them, think outside the box because you going to a show could be more beneficial than streaming the album or you watching a show that has material that has been licensed out to that particular show from the artist could add to royalties and publishing residual 20 years ago you'll cop the album and they had a bunch of points on the album or a few points it made sense but when you have to streaming a stream a song 78 times for somebody to get a dollar yeah that's a bit much it really is and no one even understands how they came up with these rates no one knows i've seen a clip with snoop dogg who is a solidified star a label owner and he's confused on how streaming works that's the main gripe with a lot of us artists is that we do major numbers with streams and this shit, but it don't add up to the money like what is the money shout out to all the fans out there who love music and who want to support the artists hopefully i helped you today Go get your G. Hey, yo, E.